Hey, what's up everybody? It's Amir with Men in Fitness Studios. So, real quick, I want to talk to you about, this is more geared towards guys, but um, get a lot of questions from guys that want to know, you know, how do I get big and, you know, what's the best way to get big? I mean, is calisthenics the best way? Yeah, is the dumbbell, barbell, slash external resistance training the best way to get big? And to answer your question, it just depends on what specifically your goals are. So in my opinion, if you want to know my opinion, best way to get functionally fit is to combine calisthenics with proper, with a proper resistance, speed agility, quickness, uh, and a power training program. So, you know, again, because you want to be ready for all things that come to you in life. So why not try to become like Spider-Man or Superman or Batman or, you know, your favorite superhero, except for the ones that shoot lasers, but why not combine those properly to to get good results, stay lean and fit and strong for the rest of your life. But um, going back to getting big. So getting big is more a function of hard training, putting in the work, and then actually uh, getting the calories to help your body, specifically the right amount of protein to help your body get um, bigger and stronger, help the muscles change. So yeah, um, getting big, you gotta eat, you gotta eat. So, and now, now that I'm talking about eating, let's talk about bulking really quick. So bulking essentially is where you just eat everything in sight. And I'm all for that, but you want to do that scientifically. So there's a big difference between 250 calories of a high fat meal, low protein, low carb, versus 250 calories of a high protein, high carb, low fat meal. They're both the same amount of calories, but the nutrient distribution is, is different. So that's one of the main things when you're bulking, you gotta work hard. Make sure you're getting protein. You gotta get a right amount of protein. And you don't necessarily need a protein supplement. Protein supplements, I find, like in my opinion, they're for people that, you know, they might be going through like a surgical procedure. They give those to people that are coming off of surgery who can't move, but you know, and they can't really digest, uh, chew the, or like hard protein, like, you know, turkey, like your solid proteins, they can't really digest those. So in that instance, a protein powder is good. Um, but for a person that's trying to to bulk, yeah, you can you can get you can get all the protein you need just from from uh, you know just your, your daily meals, man. You just gotta eat a little bit more, but you can get all your protein from your meals. Because um, if you think about it, America is one of the uh, well, America is one of the only countries in the world that that doesn't have people that are protein deficient. Like, there's no end to protein or the different sources of protein you can get. So you, you can't run out of protein. So yeah, that's my rent. Try to bulk, get the protein. Uh, powder is not necessarily needed. Uh, and just make sure you lift hard. Lift hard, lift heavy, lift heavy, get the right amount of rest. And know your starting point, know where you are as far as muscle mass and lean and uh, body fat now. And then check every uh, one to two weeks to see progress. So keep that in mind. Next time if you're thinking about going on a bulking program, just go ahead and eat. And you know, work out, work hard, try to get big. Don't try to get big, do it. Just like Yoda said, there is no try. There is no try, do it. So that's it. You guys have a good day. Rate, comment, subscribe, and let me know what questions you have, and I'll answer them. Thank you. I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.